Hello everyone, welcome back to, to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for all the undying support for my channel and hope you enjoy guys watch, watching my tutorial. Well guys, uh, in this video, we're going to draft the, ba the pattern for our uh, skinny fit basic pants pattern with a side uh, pocket uh, opening okay by the way guys uh in this video in this uh, measurement this is uh, i you i measured this by our one of our personnel here so this is customized uh measurement so as you can see the waist is 24 hip started to approach 10 and 3 fourth knee circumference 12 and one half ankle circumference is 8 uh, length is 33 okay uh, in this video guys uh, since there's some um, su uh, supporters who want to know how to use the L square uh, L square ruler so now there are, we're going to use the L square in this video um, just a trivia guys the L square is the old um, process of pattern making that uh, way back in the 40s era okay guys in this uh, in this when you use this is this also accurate sometimes I use this uh, especially if the measurement is whole what uh, what do you mean by whole for example the measurement is uh, 36 and the hips so the half is um, 18 so it's okay but for example 35 is the hip measurement the half of is 17.5 it will be hard for it to find here in our uh, in our ruler because there is no 17.5 here so it's not really an accurate uh, i'm not saying that this, uh, this is not it although i uh it's, it's good as well to use this elsewhere i i use this sometimes um uh, it depends on the measurements okay now we're going to to draft pattern using this okay uh as you can see we have the parts of l square we have short arm and long arm in short arm there is four division which is 116 18 1 4 and 1 half division in long arm we also have four division which is 112 116 1 3rd and 2 3rd division okay here okay so now we're going to use this elsewhere in our pattern making for this basic uh, skinny pants okay with side with the sliding side pocket okay let's start So, uh, first of all, the first step we're going to to do is the basic uh, from this tip of the pattern paper down three in one half, then create a straight line. Okay, we already uh, draw the straight line uh, in our top. This is will be our top border. Then we're going to so uh, measure three and one half from this point up to here for our side border. Up to the length of the desired length. then create connect and create a straight line <clears throat> okay now we have already a side side border and this is our top border now we're going to as you can see we have already an intersection here 
so these are our starting point so for our first uh, next step we're going to get first the length so the length of our uh, uh, skinny pants is 33 so therefore we're going to uh, measure 33 so before we do that we're going to uh, minus one in one half here so we're going to get one in one half here because this is our waistband area because the 33 length it is included waistband so we're going to deduct minus one in one half so up to 33 I'm gonna move the pattern paper first. Okay. 33. Here is the 33. Okay. Then straight line. Okay. I'm going to check if this is correct. So I check it's here not here okay so this is the final one okay so X this one so we have already the bottom line bottom level so we're going to back going back to the upper part okay Okay, here we go now we're going to get the from this point we're going to get the crotch measurement our crotch measurement guys is 10 and 3 fourth so again less one in one half so here same here 10 and 3 fourth here then straight line Okay, I'm gonna make sure that the line is aligned. This is 10 and 3 fourth. Sorry. Here. Sorry. Uh, okay. So this is correct. Okay, now we're going to get the uh, hip measurement. Guys, if you don't have measurement for uh, waist to hip, uh, all you have to do is just uh, add 3 inches up or 3 and a half. It's up to you. More or less 3 inches to 3 and a half. It is standard, guys. And then draw a straight line. So okay, as you can see, we have already the waist waist level, level, the hip level, the crotch level, and the hem or bottom level. Now we're going to get the knee level by folding, by getting the center of crotch and the hem or the bottom level. So we're going to move the pattern paper to, to, to see. Okay, here we go. Now, uh, from this point, from this uh, point of our uh, crotch level up to the bottom level here we're going to measure and get the half of it okay. 
So it's 22 and 1 fourth. All you have to do guys is go is just mark this because we're going to add one and one half up. So just add first that just mark just mark this like that then um add one and one half like this then straight line. like this okay this is our final uh, knee level okay uh, we, we we fold the tape measure uh, half to get the center of this then after that we we get one and one half up that is the final uh, center uh, knee level okay let's go back to the, the to this part for our next process Okay, now uh, let's start with the crotch. We're going to uh, get the one half of the crotch, the hip measurement, in one half division of uh, square, uh, L square. What do you mean by this? Uh, our uh, hip measurement are, is 32, 32, therefore the half is 16 correct now we're going to uh find the 16 uh in one half division of l square so the one half division is located in short arm so we're going to find the 16 point so this is the 16 so from 16 up to this uh, center of the l square is our measurement so we're going to lay the the l square from this part up to the uh, 16 the half measurement of hip this one we're going to mark this same here in our hip same here in our waist okay now we're going to connect these three lines Okay, now uh, let's check uh, if this is correct. Uh, we're going to uh, use based on the old process of pattern making, uh, like what we did always. So we're going to divide the hip measurement into four to get this uh, one. So it's 32 divide four, so it's eight. Let's check if this is eight. And yes, correct, it is eight, so there's no problem. Okay? Now we're going to uh, get the crotch extension. If you, if you uh, noticed guys before in our other uh, ways of pattern making, uh, what we did is we're going to divide the hip measurement into 12, right? And then we're going to put it here. Uh, in this uh, video, we're going to get the uh, one half of hip measurement and one twelve division of the the l square okay so the one 112 uh, division is here in our long arm it is in the first uh, division the 112 okay we're going to find the 16 the one half of hip right so here here is the 16 so we're going to do like this then mark okay guys then if you already mark this one we're going to Okay, we're going to add 3 4 it's standard guys it is standard okay when you use the L square uh, all you have to do is just uh, get the 112 of the hip measurement and one what get the one half of hip measurement and 112 division plus two, 3 4 that is for the front and for the back one half division one half measurement of hips in 112 division plus one fourth that is for the back that is later okay so here we go this is the final uh crotch okay now uh next step we're going to get one fourth here like that okay that is the final then connect that to this hip area 
by a straight line like that okay now we're going to curve the crotch front crotch using this uh, curved side of our ruler okay then okay as you can see we already have a uh, uh, line our crotch side for front panel okay now we're going to get the center of this to get to, to get the grain line guys in pattern making for pants it, the, it is important that uh, we have the grain line okay so that the the fitting will not be twisted center up to here center this is up to the bottom from waist to bottom we're going to get the center okay the knee and the bottom then we're going to connect the lines with a straight line this will be our grain line okay now we have we are we have already a grain line now we're going to get the the knee circumference our knee circumference is 12 so we're going to get the tape measure fold the tape measure in the desired uh, circumference is 12 in one half so we're going to fold this then the half is six in one fourth then another fold so it will be three and one eighth okay so three in one eighth here and here then we're going to get uh, one fourth inside so this is our final this is uh, not so this is will be our new uh, knee circumference same with the knee level at the bottom sorry okay <clears throat> so the bottom will be eight so four so four the half is two so negative measure here two and here as well then minus one four then minus one four so that will be this will be our new knee uh, bottom circumference or ankle then connect these two points okay okay as you can see we already connect the lines now we're going to connect uh, this up to here by a hip curl ruler this one okay in this point <clears throat> okay as you can see we have already uh, uh, the curve of our hip the side seam then here will be this way this way guys <clears throat> okay as you can see it is a smooth smooth lines 
so it's good now we're going to move in upper part for our waistline waist measurement so in this center we're going to uh, get one half this will be our center for our waistline guys remember okay we're going to get one half then from this point this this will be the center of our uh, waistline not here but here uh, now we're going to measure uh, get the one half of the waist measurement in one half division of L square so the one half of waist is 12 right 12 so therefore uh, we're going to find 12 in our uh, L square in one half division so the one half division is located in the short arm so as you can see guys this is 12 this is the one half division this is the one half division of our uh, one half measurement of our waist in one half division of L square 12 so if you measure 12 up to here in the center that is the one half okay so if you fold the tape measure the one the center of this is another 12 the nearest 12 okay so this this will will be our center we're gonna put it here here the this center 12 here okay like this okay as you can see here is the 12 and here is the 12 Okay, so this is the one half measurement of one half measurement of waist measurement in L square. Okay, now if you uh, if you've done doing this, get one half inside minus one half. So this will be our last, uh, the final up to here, okay? This one to here. So we're going to connect this. We're going to X this and X this, okay? Now, <laughs> we're going to check if this, this is correct. If we're going to use the old, uh, my, my uh, process and pattern making in pants, uh, what we did is we're going to measure the, the one fourth of waist measurement here, start here. So therefore, uh, the one fourth for waist is six, right? So let's check if this is six up to here. Yes, it is six, right? Okay, so it is correct. L square is correct and our process is correct, okay? Now we're going to connect this up to here by curve ruler. This point. <clears throat> so here is our front panel for our pants as you can see okay now we're going to measure the back uh, panel I'm going to use the red ball pen so that we can determine uh, the front and back okay let's start let's start here okay from here we're going to uh, move here for at least one half more or less one half to one to three fourth it depends on the body okay for me this is since this is small um, and the fabric is stretchable so i rather one half okay but it's if but if it's woven or not, not stretchable it should be it should be wearable so it uh, can be three fourth okay now for this uh for this uh pattern specific pattern i rather choose the one half okay now if you uh, enter one half get out one half here okay then continue 
the line okay you enter one half you get out one half okay next we're going to get the center of this point from here up to here the center of this so that we're going to get so this is three so therefore the center is 1.5 right so this is the center so from this point we're going to up one and one half okay then straight line then from this point we're going to connect that up to here by slanted line like that okay now we're going to get the crotch extension for back as as i said earlier in the front panel uh get the one half measurement of the hips in 112 division plus one fourth if it is back okay but if it is one it is front what three four plus three four so 16 in 112 division plus one fourth here okay here is the final then down for at least one fourth as well or three eight for me three eight then create a broken line or dotted lines here then line at least three fourth here then connect with curve ruler up to this three eight line like that like that okay but it uh why i need to uh put this three eight uh so that it will be fit not uh hindi siya maano hindi siya mapunit sa bandang wetan okay may space pa siya okay let's go to the bottom sa knee level iangat ko lang siya Okay, here we go. From this point, add one half, one half. Same here in our bottom. One half, one half. Then connect, 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 and connect. <clears throat> okay here we go we already uh lined the back part of our of our back panel then here we're going to curve in this part by using curve ruler this way like that so as you can see we already uh, draft the back panel almost then here this way we're going to find the smoothness of this part okay okay here we go we are almost done then this our uh back then move in the upper part for our waistline <clears throat> okay from this point we're for our back panel we're going to uh, measure again in our l square the one half of waist measurement and one half division of l square okay 
so this is the 12 so therefore we're going to lay the tip measure here like that here is this uh, the point here and go here to 12 plus here this is the one half is 12 plus one inch for our dart allowance okay plus one inch so it's here then we're going to connect this with a straight line like that okay and then connect this up to here by curve ruler this side yes you need to find the smoothness of our curve okay <clears throat> so here is our back the red uh, uh, pen will be our back panel and the black will be our front panel okay we're almost done now we're going to get the center of this back panel uh, to get the <coughs> the dart so this is 7 okay so the center will be 3.5 so it's here then uh, from this point down for at least 4 inches for our dart or 3 inches rather then line horizontally okay then one half one half both sides then connect the, the two with these lines <coughs> okay this is our dart guys now uh since this there is a sliding side sliding packet in the sides so we're going to uh draft it here then transfer it to our uh clean pattern paper so for dart for our sliding packet just uh measure two inches or 2.5 or two in one fourth here <coughs> so i use black since this, this is front so for me it's two in one fourth guys this from this point it is four or four in one fourth or four in one half for me it's four in one fourth <coughs> then connect okay this will be our a packet opening in the sides now we're going to transfer this in our in a clean pattern paper and uh, uh, pattern the 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 packet facing and the packet bag okay and put some allowances all over the pants okay okay we're going to draft the the packet bag so as you can see i have here uh lines for packet bag here and this one we're going to uh I have here a pattern paper. I just fold this, fold this once. So this will be the center of our packet. So uh, I'm gonna lay it here, something like this, like that. Then I'm gonna trace this out. Then we're gonna we're gonna trace this out. Okay then put some allowances okay it's up to here then straight line then mark the curve 
here then let's curve this like that okay now we're going to uh, fold this our pocket opening and lay it here like this then like that then put some allowances Now, um, we're going to cut this. Okay, now we're going to cut this one, the pocket opening, the, the one side only. Just add at least one fourth sewing allowance. That's it. So this is our pocket bag. Okay. Now I already traced the the pocket uh, facing. This one. This is the pocket facing in our pattern paper. This one. This one. I just add some. I uh, know. Uh, like that some shape so this is it what we're going to do is we're going to put it like that that is the pocket facing okay and it we're going to put it in our front panel <coughs> here's our front panel okay i already had add also uh sewing allowances so we're going to put it like this okay like that this is our front and this is our back I also I already put um, sewing allowances in all sizes side side okay now we're going to cut the pattern the just we're going to pattern the waistband just um, get one half finish and the size of our waist is 24 plus one half sewing allowance okay so i have here a uh, clean pattern paper just fold this one like that then we're going to measure um one in one half The, the width of our waistband is one and one half then we're going to do a straight line Okay, then measure 24 plus one half. Twenty-four plus one half. Twenty-four in one half. Then add sewing allowance here for at least three eight or one four. the width of our overlock is the allowance so mostly it is 3 8 okay then we're going to cut this 
this is our waistband then we're going to cut the okay this is our waistband then now we're going to cut the fabric Okay guys, na nagupit ko na yung mga yung tela natin na bubuuhin para sa skinny pants. So ito, ito yung ating um, front panel. Ayun siya. Ito naman yung back panel natin. Ayun. Ah, uh, minarkyan ko na minarkyan yung darts niya para tahiin na natin kabilaan 'yan. Um, ito naman yung ating waistband nagkupit ko na rin siya ang ating pocket facing ito and our ating pocket bag okay now we're going to sew this tahi na natin to guys okay guys ang um, nasa tahian tayo uh, first ang gawin natin is i, i ano natin yung ano yung dart niya bago natin i itahi yung kanyang mga mga crotch Okay, i ano lang natin tong dart. I ano lang natin to ganyan to guys. As you can see may ano siya, i ganyan lang natin siya. Ganyan. Then tahiin natin to. Pa island. Ganyan. Ilap mo hanggang dito sa dulo. Ayan. <coughs> ganyan siya guys. Bahay ganyan ang magiging itsura niya. Oh. Dapat wala siyang dimpon dyan. Ayan, ganyan. Ayan ang ating uh, dark. Sa kabila naman, same pa rin. Tupiin lang natin yung ganyan, pinakagitna niya, then tahiin. Yan ang itsura niya guys ha. Ito na yung back natin. Ngayon, i-overlock muna natin tong mga mga ano niya, mga crotch niya. Saka natin i ano yung kanyang pocket, ikakabit. Okay, let's go to the overlock. Okay. Ito na yung overlock natin. Buksan lang natin. I-test muna natin. Now, i-overlock natin yung crotch. Ito. Yung back. Ayan. Now, yung front naman. Tapos, yung mga pocket ano natin, pocket facing natin. Ayan, i-overlock lang natin dito, paikot. Paikot lang po guys. And then, yung kanyang um, pocket bag. 
yung dulo yung ano lang yung dulo lang yung ikakabit natin overlock natin Ayan, balik tayo doon sa high speed para i-prep natin yung packet. Ayan guys, nasa side close ko na siya, na-insim ko na rin siya. 
Ayan, as you can see guys, sa kitong tela na may mga design siya, uh, napansin nyo, pantay-pantay talaga siya. Mahalaga po talaga yan para maging maganda ang quality ng ating gawa. Yan, kahit sa side seam, pantay-pantay ang kanyang itong mga lines na to. Hanggang dito yan. Okay? So, ito na, almost done na yung, yung, yung pants natin na skinny. Ngayon, i-ano natin yung garter. I-kakabit natin dito. Okay? Okay, ayan na guys, kinabit ko na siya doon sa body natin. Ayan. So, i-overlock ko na lang tong excess dito para malinis siya tingnan. Ayan na siya guys. As you can see, maganda yung gawa natin. Okay? Overlock ko muna to. Tapos i-heming ko na. Then, ready to fit na. Ayan na guys, uh, na oh, na-aging ko na yung ano, yung over, yung waistband niya. Ngayon, i- ano natin to, i- hindi natin kailangan i-top stitch dito ha as is na yan sya yan na sya yan yan maganda yung pagka-fit natin tapos i-hemming natin dito ng half inch half inch yan i-hemming nga natin sya half inch half inch half inch yung tupi plus half inch yan di ba 1 inch yung allowance natin sa hemming 